fiance, 25M, threw water on me, 30F, and called me a whale, four months postpartum. That's just the beginning. What I mentioned in the title happened two weeks ago. Here is what happened last night into this morning. My fiance, we will refer to him as G, made the choice to sleep on our brand new couch instead of sleeping in the bed with me for the third night in a row. Granted the couch is very comfortable and new but this is getting suspicious. So this morning our baby wakes up around 4.30 am and G comes into the room asks if everything is okay and proceeds to go back to sleep on the couch. That didn't sit right with me for multiple reasons. One being that I solely take care of our child each and every night. I am going on a week now without true rest due to us consistently fighting every night and our baby. Waking up at all different hours of the night. 2. Because he is consciously choosing to leave me to sleep alone as well as take care of our child. Alone. This is not normal behavior from him but have been fighting a lot recently. It seems like that is all we do anymore. Now back to this morning. I went into the living room and said, wow. I am really glad we got this couch so you could avoid me. He said to shut the f up b. Of course we began to argue and he again began to attack my weight telling me to stop eating so. Much food you fat b. I told him that I am not even that overweight and he said yes you are you have roles. For reference I am a tall woman. 5 feet 9 and weighed 160 before baby. Gained 54 pounds during pregnancy bringing my weight to 214. I am now 185. Slowly but surely getting back to my previous weight. Like what the hell? Like I said. I am 4 months postpartum with my second child. The absolute disrespect and unappreciation I feel from carrying his child for 9 months. I never thought he would ever say these kinds of things to me. Back to the argument. I then call him an ugly mother f, calling his soul ugly. Because we both know he is far from ugly. He then proceeds to insult me again saying that I'm the true ugly one that's why I wear makeup. He walks away and then walks back to say, and not just a little makeup. You wear a f ton. He then went to work after kissing our child goodbye and not saying a word to me. I am absolutely stunned by these comments and his behavior and I am asking you Reddit for any advice. What can I do to establish boundaries? Does he no longer love me? Do you think he is cheating? Please help me understand. Thanks in advance. Also, we have been together one year plus eight months. XOXO. Abuse escalates after childbirth. You are not in a safe situation, you need to leave. The bigger question is why you stay with someone who treats you like that. Surely you have parents or friends who would be supportive of you and baby. Don't stay with this guy one day more. Get a lawyer for custody. You need to get out while you can. This kind of behavior will only continue and maybe be worse. You don't want to take the chance that he will treat your child like that as well or neglect them. Like he has been doing. Get a divorce and get away from this man. You deserve so much better. And never deserve to get spoken to that way by someone who is supposed to be your life partner. The minute that he threw that water on me. His effing ass would be thrown out of the house. Quit wasting your time on that awful creature. From one mom to another. Call off the wedding. Leave this guy. He's not for you. And you deserve better. My husband and I have been together for 11 years and when we had our first child he was so. Supportive and loving to me. And I'm only telling you this so you know that the behavior your fiance is showing is not normal and not acceptable. He should be cherishing you right now since you gave birth to his child. He sounds toxic and abusive. You don't need that. And you are not a fat whale. You are a beautiful mommy. And deserve to be treated with love and respect. Please take care of yourself your kids need a happy mama. Heart. You're being abused.
It will get worse. You need to leave for the sake of yourself and your kid. Jesus Christ, leave. When someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. Maya Angelou. I hate to say this but this is a prime example of why you need to really get to know someone before having a child with them. You've been together for one year and eight months. You are four months postpartum. That means you really were not together long before having a child together? It sounds like you may be used to abusive and toxic relationships so you are accept so much more than healthy people would. None of his behavior is acceptable and you should not put up with it. Separate and start getting child support from him. You are already doing it all alone so why keep him in your space? Good lord. This sounds more like a vent session than seeking advice. Nobody in their healthy mind would remain in such a toxic relationship. Why worry if he's cheating on you if he's treating you like absolute garbage to begin with? Whatever honeymoon relationship you both had died a while ago. Seriously leave and go to someone's house for a bit. You've already shown you are the sole care provider for your children. Do you want them to grow up thinking that's how you should treat your partner? Let alone anyone? Lawyer up sis and GTFO. What did I just read? Are you really asking about boundaries with this person? I can't offer you any advice on that because doing so would suggest that this relationship should be salvaged. You need to understand your relationship is over. The way he talked to you and the words he used and distancing himself shows that it's over. If he isn't helping with the baby then you need to file for child support. You would be out of your mind thinking about marrying him. Him having someone on the side is the least of your worries. Kick him out. What's to help you understand? He's a chronic ass and is giving you all the signs that you should change the locks and dump his stuff on the front porch in trash bags while he's at work. Get out. ASAP. You deserve to be supported and your child deserves to grow up in an environment where their mother is respected. Just gonna echo the rest of the comments. Leave. That's unacceptable behavior from him and I'd hate to see your kids pick up on it woman shrugging medium light skin tone. Second. Worth mentioning you are four months postpartum and not at an unhealthy weight considering. I'm five feet one was 135 pounds before my son, was 217 pounds when I gave birth and I was 185 at about 4 months postpartum. My son is nearly 3.5, and I'm 172 pounds. Being 185 pounds at 4 mo postpartum and 5 feet 9 is not at all fat. And screw him for saying it tbh. What an asshole. Oh my god, please go here. https colon slash slash www.thehotline.org slash plan for safety slash create your personal safety plan slash. He is an abusive asshole. Please believe you're better than this. Please decide you don't want to raise your child to think this is normal. Does it really matter if he's cheating? He's a horrible person. Why on earth would you want to be with him? Please take a moment to think about what you're willing to allow him to do and say to you. Your children don't need to hear their mother being talked to this way. Ew that's abuse. I'd have poured water on him and kicked his disgusting self out of the house. That poor child growing up with this. It's not healthy for them to grow up with such behavior being displayed. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.